I wonder where he went. Bye! Turn around. I wonder where he went. Bye! <laughs> Where'd he go? That's, that's weird. This must be... Old age. <laughs> I must be forgetting. What is actually killing me? <laughs> you want to see the most metal thing a person can do? Let's see if I can pull this off. Boom! That was so sweet. And I don't think I blocked the damage. But it was sweet. The Grindon Plains. Looking at my map, you will see we have never touched this area. Grindon Plains is completely uncivilized, and we are here to conquer it by killing its bosses and taking its Korok Seeds. Speaking of Korok Seeds, uh, there should be one right here. Yeah, we've never been to Grindon Plains, which is a bit odd. Uh, you'd think that something like this would have been something we passed over when we went over to the Tabob Grasslands, but no, we... Oh, there's a shooting star. I don't need you, but shooting star over there. So yeah, I don't know if there are any bosses here or Lynels or what. It's actually, you know what? This might be. I might want to take. I I think I should take this horse. Hey, horse! Get over here. Yeah, let's go. You are mine. You are slightly faster than if I were to just run. This, uh, this is a great place to start, because then we can just fly across all of Grinden Plains and get to see all of it. It looks just sort of like a sparse forest, a woodlands. There isn't much here. It's cool, and it's a great, uh, it's a great divider between the more arid Gerudo Desert and Gerudo Highlands and, and uh, Lake Hylia. <laughs> This horse catching method is so good. Just shock, shock and, you know what, and just shock and jock. That, that doesn't sound right, but you know what I mean. Just shock the horse and jump on. It's so good. It's practically a surefire way of catching any horse you want. And it just means that the, the horse will have a little bit of damage marked on it, but that's fine. Just take it to a stable. Erase that damage. And it looks like we're done with the Grin Grassland. That's kind of sad. There's nothing. There was nothing on it. There was really no reason for me to go on there other than Korok seeds. That's kind of lame. This horse is actually pretty sweet. What? Horse, you have betrayed me. You have betrayed your master by dying. St Apparently, horses die. Hey! Oi! I have disguise! Ow! This is really lame. I was excited for Grindon Plains and Mount Flora. A uh, Flora? Flora. It, it was a new area. We we're gonna see bosses. We we're gonna see, like, pink lionels. We we're gonna see all new horizons, and I would have rediscovered the game, but instead... Instead, I, I am left with a two-star horse overlooking... A bunch of five-star horses, and riding this horse down a cliff, kind of hoping that it dies, just because it would, it would be funnier. <laughs> uh, I think we have officially reached Skyrim levels, guys. Can I actually go up this? Seven hundred and four Korok seeds. Hey, guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we covered and talked to everyone at every stable. Everyone that had something interesting to say, I showed it on screen, and we knocked a few quests out of the way in the process. This time, as you see, we were on a loading screen. We are now in Rito Village, and I figured uh, we're going to do the same for the towns, I think. Like, I, I could space it out. But that would lead, leave us... Oh, look at this! Oh, it's so cute! 
that would leave us with a lot of catch-up work to do after Elden. And to be honest, after Elden, we just have Lineru. That's it. We have Lineru and then we have some Korok seeds. So I think it's best if we do this now. You may disagree, but I I'm the one who has the glowing eyes, so your argument is invalid. What what? Go go back to singing. Ignore me. Hello, Cass. Why are Oh, oh. My bad. I f I'm sorry. I I look like a nightmare. <laughs> let me let me fix that. Is this better? I look less scary. Okay, they're still frightened. I guess they just saw a grown man change in front of them, so that's kind of scary. Hello, Cass. Thank you for listening to my teacher's song. If you want to hear this song again, you'll need to come back at nighttime. <laughs> that's the only time my kids? He, these are his children? That, that's adorable. And it makes a lot of sense. So we know his wife. That's awesome. That's, that's the only time my kids will leave me alone. That is amazing. La la lu la la lu lu. This is dad's music. We're singing along. Huh? We're, what, what was that sound just now? Hmm. That's great. I didn't know those were his children. That's a great start to this episode. So yeah, we're going to be going around talking. Our, our ultimate goal is to read the journal entry. Uh, and if we get nothing else done this episode, I at least want to do that. So, let the talking commence. Hey, Taba. Oh wait, your hearth. Uh, I, I figured your. I saw that your hair was lamer. I, I was like, what is wrong? Why did you you ditch the cool look? If you break or lose the great eagle bow, I can make a new one for you. But you'll need to bring me a swallow bow, five bundles of wood, and a diamond. Well, thanks, but no thanks. The great eagle bow lasts forever. <laughs> I can't help but notice that your great eagle bow is missing. If you want me to make another one, I'll need a swallow bow, a diamond, and five bundles of wood. Looks like you got everything ready. Should I make you a new one? Diamonds are pretty tough to come by, are you sure? Oh yeah, I have so many diamonds. Alright, just wait over there for a bit. Here you go, I made a beauty for you. Please take good care of it. Great eagle bow! Champion Descendant! I'm happy to answer anything I can. Tell me about Rivali. You're curious about Master Rivali? Hoo <laughs> What perfect timing. We recently found the diary of Rivali. We were all excited to locate such a personal item of the champions. How whoever, not just anyone has the right to read something of that nature. That's why I left Taba in charge of it, since he so admires Master Rivali. Uh, diary of Rivali? Derp derp. Hoo <laughs> hoo. The ancient Diary of Rivali was recently found at the flight range our champion so adored. Taba took the diary to his home for safekeeping. Was there anything else? Where's Taba right now? Hoo <laughs> hoo, you wish to know where Taba is? Good question. All I know, he has not been in this village lately. He has always aspired to be like our champion Rivali, to become a valued warrior for Rito Village. He also harbors the hope that his son, Tulin, will share in his dream of becoming a great warrior like Master Rivali. Ah oh, yes. Perhaps Taba's wife, Saki, knows where he is. If you're curious, Taba's home is right next door to my own humble abode. A birdie! The Snow White birdie's important thing. When I grow up, I'm gonna go to the bird big tree and find it. Uh, I found it, actually. <laughs> and now it looks like she's as tall as Link. What? You met the white birdie? What did he swallow? Well, it was a little bit different from that. It was kind of it was really hard to find actually. And uh he swallowed a a shrine. A a shrine. The Snow White birdie wasn't actually a bird. Also, that was that was great. She cued it in just like she had heard what I said. That's great. So the white birdie was actually Heber Mountain? Oh, grandpa, you were always such a prankster. Yes, he was. I wish he could have given some more specific instructions. But I do appreciate you. I really appreciate your help. Thanks for helping me figure out what the Snow White Birdie's important thing was, even if it wasn't a birdie at all. My grandpa isn't here anymore, but now I can tell the story all by myself. Do you want me to tell you the story again? Uh, no thanks. You should go tell Cass's kids. I bet they'd love to hear it. They could even make a song out of it. 
I'm sure your grandpa would have liked that. Bye, Molly. Oh, it's you. Let me guess, you've come to see Divine Beast Vamado? The dragon? Ah, yes, there's no need for me to keep on watch on the dragon anymore. It simply doesn't seem to mean us any harm. That's why I was able to con return to the village. I'm confident we're safe. Oh, that reminds me, I've done a bit of research on the dragon. Did you know that the dragon I mentioned before has a name? It's Dinral. Apparently, there are two more of those creatures in Hyrule. I believe the other ones are called Farash and Nadra. Ah, so you're developing an interest in dragons too, I take it. Ah. Frosh has been spotted at Lake Hylia and Lake Floria. I hear you can get a breathtaking view of it dead center on the right side of the Bridge of Hylia. I would love to see such a sight. Ah. Nadra is usually associated with Mount Laneru. I hear it was also spotted east of Laneru Road. Ah. Snowy mountains aren't a problem for Ritos like myself, but the journey must have, might prove difficult for a Hylian like you. Be sure to prepare for extreme cold if you intend to go there. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Oh. Dinral is the one I journeyed all the way to Tanagar Canyon to see. I hear it's been spotted near the Elden Mountains as well. They say standing on to atop of the massive fossil called the Elden Great Skeleton is the best way to see it. Then again, I have no idea how much of what I just relayed is true. Hmm, Divine Beast Vamidos sure caused a lot of turmoil around here. Yeah, Divine Beast Fabado is perched atop the village now. It has not moved an inch since it stopped there. I'm surprised that rock up there can support all that weight. Don't let me keep you. Thanks, Mosley. You and I had, uh, had a great time watching Dinral. It was one of the most beautiful sights to behold in this world. You have a good day. Hello, Molly. Ah. Thank you, Link. You have brought my husband back to us. I really can't thank you enough. He is singing with his daughters at the usual place. I'm sure they could use an audience if you have some time to spare. Your husband is an amazing man. Now let me tell you about this one time he tried to get into the Gerudo village. <laughs> you would love that story. Yeah. Saki, hello. Man, for some reason, I'm just suddenly really appreciative of the Rito designs. They look... they re look really good. Although, I guess I like them a little bit more in Wind Waker. They, they just look a lot more stern in that game, and, and I like that. Hello, Champion Descendant. If you need my husband, he took Tulin to the flight range. Now that we're at peace again, I would rather they stop being such... doing such dangerous training. But Taba insists. Well... Thank you. I will probably... Well, I'll have to run over there if I want to read that diary. <laughs> Hello, anime character. Oh. Hey there. Good day. That unmistakable, slightly acrid scent. You have some flint on you, don't you? Can you sell me 50 of those? Uh, no way. Oh, oh man. If this doesn't work, she's going to divorce me for sure. Well, if you're getting her flint instead of diamonds... Uh, sounds like you're starting off on the wrong foot for a wedding gift there, buddy. First, you want to buy some Tabantha wheat and, and cane sugar here at the Slippery Falcon. Then, just fry those up alongside some Mighty Bananas. Mighty Bananas are rare in these parts, but this dish is worth it. First, you'll want to buy some Tabantha wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar here at the Slippery Falcon. Toss these ingredients in a pot alongside the nuts of your choice to make a tasty nut cake. I prefer acorns myself. First, you want to buy Tabantha wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar here at the Slippery Falcon. Cook these ingredients with an apple until the crust is a flaky golden brown and the insides are gooey and delicious. And for an added kick, try substituting the apple with something else. You know what I want now? I want a Breath of the Wild cookbook. Half of these recipes which I have, like hearty fried wild greens, have some nice uh, beans in there, or not beans, uh, peas. You have fish and mushroom skewer. These sound great. Hearty omelet, simmered fruit, mushroom skewer, vegetable omelet. And these are just scratching the surface of some of the cooler dishes in the game. <laughs> as long as everyone has f fun together, I don't care what we sing. As long as we unleash Kree justice on Xandar. <laughs> wow, you different somehow. Cooler. 
Whoa, you found all the shrines? Congratulations! Good boy! I'm not your dog, Genli. Cass, what are you teaching this girl? I Okay, I hope you like the congratulations. Hey, Cods! Dad taught me how to catch fish! You just dive bomb them while they're swimming. <laughs> With literal bombs. It's very efficient. But the hard part is getting back out of the water. I don't know how to swim. Cass, you should probably supervise her when she goes fishing. Lolly loo lolly la 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 ba ba wee. Ah. Thank you, thank you. I call that piece <laughs> the killing of the ears. Thank you for listening. La la la. <laughs> oh, hello. I I'm just a fellow traveler. You wouldn't be robbing me, would you? Well, if you were, I, I'd assume you'd want to take my clothes, because it seems like you can't handle the cold. Hey, Teba. How fare ye? Would you mind showing Tulin how you handle a bow? Watching a master at work and trying to copy their techniques is a good start when it comes to training, after all. Uh, I'm actually not here for that right now. I was told that there is a journal somewhere around here. Hmm. Link, as you know, us Rito use our wings to fly forward. The wind lifts us into the, lifts us up into the glorious sky above. However, we cannot ascend on our own. The Rito tribe used to believe this was an irrevocable truth until Master Rivali's feet changed everything. He learned to create his own updraft and crafted a unique skill which allowed him to ascend straight up into the air. I'm sure you can understand the great advantage of being above your foe. As a warrior, I am lacking in that way. However, I swear on the sacred sky above that someday I will surpass hmm. Master Rivali. To that end, I'm determ determined to master his skill, to teach myself Rivali's gale. Hmm. Warrior, might I trouble you to show Tulin how to handle a bow? Uh, where's Canelli? Mm -hmm. The Elder? I imagine he's at his home in the Rito Village. Yes, it's safe to assume he's in his favorite rocking chair. That reminds me, I was hoping the Elder could speak to Tulin about Master Rivali. Hmm, but her, perhaps Tulin's training should come first. Uh... I am... I'm here for a journal. Is this it? The Diary of Rivali. Read the Diary of Rivali, the Rito legend? Oh yeah. I won another archery competition today. As one would expect, the village can't stop talking about my winning streak. In short order, I've managed to break all the previous records and set an unsurmountably high bar. Everywhere I go, I receive praise and affirmations that I am the pride of the Rito. I could get used to this. The Elder asked me what I would like as a prize for my achievements. I told him that I wish for an archery training ground. If I am to keep this up, I need somewhere to train at varying elevations. I'm hoping to master a new move I've dreamed up. I keep pushing my archery skills to the limit. My dive is ideal, but the uh, ensuing dis ascent is not as smooth as I wish it was. I must return to the flight range again tomorrow. There I, I will become stronger. Better. I won't rest until I succeed. The Rito children look up to me. I hear they wish to start training at the flight range too. Perhaps it's uh, not a bad idea to allow everyone to use my training space. These are dangerous times, after all. Tomorrow I will try a new strategy I've been devising to control the updraft. I refuse to believe it's impossible. There is a persistent rumor in town that Calamity Ganon's resurrection is imminent. It can't be true, right? A few years ago, scientists dug up an ancient mechanical beast called Mado. It was supposedly used to fight Ganon. Hyrule's royal family is in search of someone to pilot the beast. They say to do so requires something beyond skill. They say one's soul must contain an incredible sacred power for a divine beast to recognize them as master. They should have just asked for me by name. To control the divine beast and defeat the calamity would finally allow me to prove myself to the world. Hyrule's princess stopped dawdling and asked me to pile the divine beast. I asked what our plan is. I wish I hadn't. It is completely absurd. The Divine Beasts are little more than a backup for some Hylian knight who has the honor of fighting Calamity Ganon. Me, a sidekick. I thought of declining, but then she looked at me dead in the eye and held my gaze as she said, 
We must protect the precious life of this land from the Calamity's grasp at all costs. Hyrule needs you, Rivali. It was so corny, I almost died. But I won't soon forget the look in her eyes. She meant it with all her heart. I thought Hylians only thought of themselves, but I suppose there's an exception to every rule. I'm going to accept, of course, but out of self-respect, I'm going to let her sweat it out a little bit longer. Hyrule's princess is coming by to ask for my answer tomorrow. She will surely be overcome with joy when I accept. And her timing is exceptional. I am close, so close to mastering my new move and showing everyone what I'm capable of. When they see it, they'll know without doubt that it should be me fighting Ganon instead of that pathetic knight. I can see it now, the king and the princess and the knight, all on their knees begging me to defeat Ganon for them. They'll say, please, Master Rivali, please use your otherworldly skills and intellect to defeat Master Gan- or Calamity Ganon. I look forward to that day. I journeyed to Hyrule Castle for an inauguration ceremony. I now bear the grand title of Champion. Meaningless pomp, if you ask me. If truth, strength relied only on title and uniform, everyone would be a champion. I do like the blue scarf, though. That annoyingly silent knight was as emotionless as usual. I can never tell what's on his mind. Likely nothing at all. Uh, somehow I can't help but believe the stories about him beating adult knights in swordplay when he was only a child. Still, he doesn't stand a chance against me. There is no one alive who can keep up with my aerial combat. Which, that reminds me, it's about time I came up with a fitting name for that new move I created. What kind of name would be worthy? Rivali's something? Tornado? Whirlwind? Masterpiece? Hmm. How about Diamond Dive? The princess came to the village on official business, along with her shadow, that insufferable knight. I tried to talk to him while the princess met with the elder, but he was his usual quiet self. Why do people like him so? I also gave him the privilege of seeing me perform Rivali's Gale. Nothing. No reaction at all to my impressive feat. I showed it to him, even knowing there was a chance of failure, since it's still so new. He must truly be slow-witted. I tried to provoke him into facing me, but no, to no avail. It's like talking to a stone. Our interactions were a waste of time, so I flew off to find some solace with Mado. What's wrong with that guy? Daruk informed me that we have been asked to escort the princess to Lineiru. We're, on, we're to see the princess off at dawn at the mountain's base and meet her there when she returns at sunset. Must I participate in this nonsense? Though, I still remember that look on the princess's face. When she asked me to pilot the Divine Beast, she was not only determined, she seemed desperate. She's aware she can't fulfill her sacred duties, and everyone, anyone can see how it weighs on her. It's difficult for me to comprehend the troubles of the talentless, but I'm trying. It's not like, it's not that I dislike the princess. She tries her hardest. It's simply not good enough. No, I don't think I can spare the time to send her off in the morning, but perhaps I will fly over to greet her at sunset. Perhaps that alleged sealing power will show her some mercy and finally awaken this time. And that is... That was the last day. That was a day before Calamity Ganon awoke. Just one day before. It also talked about the cutscene which we relived. The memory of him taunting us before flying off to Mado, asking us to follow, but we couldn't. Rivali, it didn't reveal much about him, but he's certainly a spirited. He has... He has natural talent, and that is backing up his his confidence. His confidence is not wasted. It's not unmerited. It's just <laughs> not pleasant to be around. Rivali's still one of my favorites just due to the, flaw the obvious flaws of his character, whereas Urbosa, Daruk, and Mipha don't really have that. They don't have an obvious flaw, they don't have an obvious real character, but Rivali, he's my favorite because he's not Link's favorite. Alright, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I, I was just about to say, you know, let's go over to, let's go over to uh, Gerudo Town, but I thoroughly believe that we have exhausted our resources for this episode. I believe that there is no <laughs> more time remaining. Also, happy. great. That's awesome. I, I was going to say... It's really unrealistic that the hammer can cut through grass, but it can't! It can't, that's cool. 
But yeah, I, I don't think that I should push my luck luck. In fact, this episode may end up being long anyway. I'm not sure. I did get enough Korok seeds to push me past the 700 mark, so I there will be an end slate of that. It was like, it was, uh, I think it was exactly 20 Korok seeds that I got, so enjoy watching those. I enjoyed getting them. We're almost done with the Korok seeds. There are just 196 remaining. Next time in PAL Plays, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we are going to be going down to Gerudo Town. Where we will talk to the denizens of this episode, we didn't kill, we didn't collect any uh, any quests, but that's not to say that when we go to Gerudo Town, there won't be quests there. So we're going to be going there, saying our goodbye to Gerudo Town, just like we said our goodbye to Rito Village. It's been great, I've really enjoyed it, and next time we're going to be going to Gerudo Town. So I'll see you guys then. Urbosa's fury is ready. Thank <laughs> you. 